Are you comfortable out here in your little rag chair, huh? Are you comfortable out here? You're so strange. Do you realize you don't fit in that chair? Neely, do you realize that? Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday, July 17th. And I think we may have some sun today. It actually didn't. It only sprinkled a couple of times yesterday, but just real, real light. So today I gotta I need to finish hooking up Kelly's kiln. Her friend's coming over and they're gonna kind of set things up with it. I need to mow the lawn, which looks like it's now more weeds than it is grass. <laughs> so well, weed and feed is definitely in order here. There's little Miss Sophie. <laughs> She's all spunky and fiery again after her little bout of sickness that she went through. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go out here and work on this for a little bit and see if I can move it. I think the thing weighs probably about as much as my Harley. Well, hello there everybody. I was on my way to the store to get some horse food, chicken food, dog food, whatever else other food I need to get. I'll see y'all in a sit few. Bye. Well, let's see what should we get. All kinds of goodies in here. I love this little nap store. I mean, they literally have 10 tons of stuff. Everything you can think of is just down the road. So cool. Well, everybody, we've got our goodies. And there's a helicopter. I don't know if you can see it. It's up there. So we've got our little goodies. Now we're going to put everything away. So we will be back. Kelly looks out the out the front door and it's a cow standing in her front yard. That's probably where it got out was down there. Oh. I bet you it got out down there. Probably heading back to the hole it got out of. He goes, ah, maybe I'll try their yard. Yeah. Well, it's going. It's going with a purpose, so it must know. It must know where it came from. Crazy cow. Whoo! It sure makes it hot out here. Holy hell, woman. That thing is crazy hot. Yeah, that's hot, huh? I think we should put some of that heat stuff there. Yeah, that thing's like, that's like crazy hot. I know it gets crazy hot in there, but... What do you have it on, medium? High, that's what she said. High when you're doing with this. Oh. That's what I'm doing. And how, like how long has it been running now? Well, that's kicked out. Huh? That's kicked out. Oh, did it? Oh, so then it's probably off. And, oh, yeah, the light's not on anymore. It's oh. off. It's just slowly cooling down. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, the light's off. All right. Well, as much heat as that thing probably generates, I'm sure that uh, that'll retain heat for a long time. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah. It's low and red hot in there. <laughs> That would warm you. That would warm you up, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. That's what I do when I'm over there in the winter. Like standing next to the kiln, the Oh, look at that! I covered the iron and and I I think I even got the tinder running on it as well. I see a green light. Yeah, look at that. Poor old iron. Oh yeah, that hole's gotten smaller. Yeah. Yeah, that was a huge burn hole. Look at them. Almost looks like rain clouds back there. Well, you have to think 
Yeah. That's kind of what's been over us all day. Yeah. And those yeah. just kind of blew away. The ride was, was fantastic. Except for you got to be careful which direction you're going because you yeah, put sun. So they finally broke the bell, huh? Yep. It's funny how they'll all of that'll be gone, and they do they do really good at not peeing and booping in it. Yep. Well, hello there, YouTube. How did everybody's day go today? I hope fantastic. Hope everything. <laughs> Abby, she's been on a run. She was sitting out here in the yard, all nice and relaxed, and the next thing I know, she's on the patio, just out of breath. But we're sitting out here on Kelly's little uh, bench that she made while I was gone. And uh, just, I just might as well leave it here. Just as good a place as any. I still want to put another one over there, though. Oh, yeah. We can, or just put it over there. Well, whatever. I need more than one. Oh, oh, okay. Because, see, this is for looking this way. And there is for when you're doing stuff in the garage. And you have a little bench that you can go out and sit down. Oh. Take a rest while you're working on stuff, watching a bike. Yeah, I think it's cheap. I mean, it's just cinder blocks and what do you call yeah. it? Cherry ties or? Cherry ties. Yeah. Yeah, it was only like 40 bucks, everything. Yeah. Cool bench. Yeah. You just gotta cement it up so once you figure out where you want it and lock her down. Oh. Damn crows, they, they make a travel path over there and they go in them trees. And it's always two of them. I'm wondering if it's not the same two. They're up to some kind of skullduggery. I'm they come from sure. those trees way off on the on the far field there, and they come out of there and they fly over here and go up in those trees and they make all kinds of crazy alien sounds. <laughs> I mean, them things make the craziest sounds. It's downright scary. I mean, sometimes it's like eerie. It's like, God, I hope that some ravens out there doing that. <laughs> yeah, because there's some <laughs> weird sounds that go around here. Yeah, especially when something goes crashing through the woods out there. I mean, just banging and crashing through the woods, just like looking around going, all the dogs, and all the dogs are all alerted. Even the dogs are going, hey, whatever that is, I ain't messing with it. Some big's going through there. Sounds like an elephant charging through there. I know, they just sit on the porch and kind of look around going, what is that? I'm sure it's a elk or a bear or something bouncing through there. A cat wouldn't make those. I mean, a cat would be quiet. Somebody's going down the highway with a tarp. You hear that flapping yep. sound. But uh, today's uh, the last day of my vacation. She still has one more one more day. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it all now that it's the last day and it's like 8:30 or something like that. You just think, man, the time went by too fast. But it seems like it's been, I've been gone a month. The trip, you know, down, and then the time we spent there, and then the trip back. Trip back was quick, though. What I spent, well, you what, did eight? Well, you did it in two days. Yeah. It's about eight hours and 40 minutes to get to my mom's, which wasn't bad. And um, it was like seven hours and 15 minutes to get from my mom's to here. So I made really good time. I even got caught in, in a, some construction on Highway 12. And that route between here and uh, Natchez over there on the other side of Highway 12, right in the uh, you know the uh, Yakima area, it's amazing. I mean, this if you didn't stop anywhere, a round trip of about five hours is beauty like you wouldn't believe. I, I'm just floored at what I seen on the last part. It must have been rainy or something. We came back and forth across there with my with my parents. Well, I think we were just like involved with yeah. the parents. We didn't really look at anything. Yeah, I do not remember it being that beautiful. I mean breathtaking. Some of some of the best stuff I seen the whole trip. And it's right in my backyard. It's like, you know, to get to where the peak of the beauty is is about an hour and a half from here. That's the craziest thing. It's right here in my backyard. I'm like, why do I? Why am I so obsessed with going somewhere? It's right here. I know. We we don't really, you know, go around yeah. here. We always think that we need to go yeah, somewhere. Yeah, need else. to go somewhere. And there's so much stuff. And I I took the uh, the DR for a little ride. I'm gonna do a quick little moto vlog for the main channel so you guys don't think <laughs> the guys that don't come over here probably think I've my throat got cut or something. You know. <laughs> 
but uh, I did a little vlog today on the DR. It felt great to ride the DR. And I know some of you guys, if you haven't pointed it out yet, and I missed the comment, I always take the iron for a ride right after I get back from a trip. So I'll ready to do that, but the tabs are expired on I it. I know, it goes to pull it out and it goes, like, oh my damn, god. Damn, I can't ride the yeah. iron. So the DR went, so that's fine. It was very fun. Love riding that DR. I'm just like a huge dual sport fan. If the seat was more comfortable, I would take that thing on long trips. And they do yeah. make very comfortable seats, because there's a lot of people that take DR650s on very long trips. DR650s, KOR650s. Yeah, Phenomenal. it is. It's really comfortable for about the first hour for me. Yeah. And then it starts to, it's just not, I can't go long distances. Yeah, about, about two, two and a half is about all I can take on it. And then, then the pain sets in and I can't, and then it just doesn't go away, you know. Yeah. Even if you take a break, you know, within 15 minutes to half an hour later, the same pain is back. You know, it's, your ass has memory, pain <laughs> memory or something. Yes, it does. But. Yeah, still a very fun bike. Really nice seats available for them that don't look hideous, you know. Don't make it look like you're making a touring bike out of an old Goldwing. You remember back in the old days and big old bubble seats that put people put on the, you know, the 750 Hondas and the 900 Kawasaki's back oh, in the yeah. early touring days. Same with the Goldwing. The Goldwing had like a hideous seat on it. People put them big old bubble seats on there. It was just hideous looking, but they were comfortable. But there's seats that don't look hideous for the DR that, that work really well. Seat seats. C-E-E-T is one of them that that I really like the look of it. And, oh, yeah. And it seems very, very comfortable. Yeah, they make nice seats. But anyway, um, I'm caught up on the vlogs. I have one. I, I just noticed before I came out here, it's it's uh, it's now in HD. I can turn it live, so I'll turn that one alive. Pacific time, it'll probably be around 9 p.m. tonight. And I'll be caught up. And this vlog will go out in the morning, and I'll be completely caught up on all the daily vlogs. You guys are probably going, what the hell is he doing? Why does he keep pummeling them out? These are just cached vlogs that I couldn't release because uh, of the lack of service in, in places. So, there we are. We're caught up. I didn't miss any days. Very good. I haven't freaked out or stressed out over it or anything, so you guys don't worry about that. I'm not staying up any later than I normally stay up. But she stays up later and I'll get out anyway. Yeah, I'm kind of a hoot owl. My mom's the same way. I can call her at one o'clock in the morning. She'll be sitting there watching TV. But she full on outlasted me the night I got there. She was talking and I was just like, I, I literally thought I was going to fall out of that stool. I was so tired. But then I had a an, an issue about halfway, about halfway to her house that yeah, we had to stop. And I put that little bit of that in the vlog. But uh, anyway, mama. Um, tomorrow's a work day and things go back to normal. I know. Which is sad. It'd be cool to... But I do miss everybody at work. It's like... Yeah, that's true. It, There's it, a part of work you definitely miss. You know, yeah. the, all the cool customers, cool employees, and yeah, you know, it's just a cool I, place to I work. Do. Yeah, I really love working at the Vancouver store. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Customers, I adore everybody the bikes. there. It's a pretty fascinating thing to do. Yeah. It's a... It's not something you dread going to work. No. It's just you don't want your vacation to end either. Yeah, because exactly. Because for a whole, you know, how many days am I gone? Like 11, 12 days or whatever. I haven't thought about work. I literally haven't thought about work at all. I did Friday. I got a couple of texts from from the service manager about a spider. and That was the only time I thought about work the entire time I was gone. So that's when you know you've had a good vacation. You just yeah. need a break because that's where you live most of your life is at work. But well, we do because, you know, two and a half hours of every day is, is driving to and from work. Yeah. So but anyway, make this one a little short and might as well roll out with a dead Abby down there. She's still trying to catch her breath. I don't I know what no she goes idea, out there but after, but yeah. it ain't cows because all the cows have done gone to yeah. wherever cows go and... And do cow things and yeah. well, except for one, there was one that roaming around here. So yeah. they they do have yeah. a few. Did you get that on film? Um, I, he's in the distance. I haven't uh, looked at the Hero Four session stuff to see if I got him or not. But I, I didn't catch him in the front yard. Yeah, though. yeah. Or she. <laughs> that was crazy. But 
we will let you, you <laughs> poor people go. We'll just sit there and battle yeah. on forever. So we appreciate you watching very, very much. Whether you're watching in the morning, afternoon, or at night. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to like. Try not to dislike and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share as well. Oh, yeah. Cover all bases, Mom. Uh, I'm a trying. I'm a trying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll take care. I'll be going to work alone. So it's just, well, you'll see her at the end, and in the morning and in the end. So. Yeah. All right. And We're, then it's back to the same old thing yeah. come Tuesday. Car vlogs, bike vlogs. And then Christy's wedding is in three weeks, and yeah. I'm freaking out. Yeah, so we got things, things are coming. Mm -hmm. More traveling to do. No big long, well, one of them's long, but we'll be together on that one. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's it. All right, y'all take care. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye <laughs> now.